Is it too late to stop our air from hurting us? These people don't think so. I look at you. Everyone is affected by the problem uh, that air pollution causes. Air pollution is a killer. We couldn't breathe. There is an urgency to clean our air. And that's how we are going to survive on this planet, through technology, transparency and hope. These are the 2023 Earthshot Prize finalists, giving Earth their best shot to clean our air. My name is Eva Lutomska. My name's Anna. I'm Andrzej. I'm from Krakow, from one of the most heavily polluted places in entire Europe. Air quality in Poland is really bad. I'm not sure if you know how it feels when you cannot go out for a walk with your kids because you are afraid you will get sick. You couldn't open the window in Krakow during the winter season because uh, of the black, heavy, dense smoke getting out of the chimney. Households in Poland are uh, heated with coal, are heated with uh, wood. The air smelled of coal, our clothes smelled of coal. Nearly no one knew about the scale of the problem. The pollution levels was very, very high and dangerous. The media were not writing about this. It was, uh, it was unbearable. That day, my daughters were very, very young. And knowing what smoke means to their health is something that is very, very difficult to accept. We were extremely angry at the situation. I know families left Krakow because uh, the doctors advised them to, to leave because the air is too dirty. Doctors had been warning for many years that air pollution was causing serious health consequences. And you have a very simple choice. Stay or move out. That's why we started to act. Imagine every tire on every car, on every road on our planet, all of them creating air pollution. And it's completely unregulated. There's no law against any of this. I'm Gunnlaugur Erlandsson. I'm the CEO of Enzo. Uh, everyone calls me G because my name is unpronounceable. So I came into this industry by accident and I then discovered how impactful tires are on our planet, particularly when it comes to air pollution. I can talk for 10 hours about tires. The tire industry is enormous. Every year we make 2 billion tires on this planet. And those tires generate six million tons of tire dust. Every time a tire brakes, accelerates or turns, it wears down, generating thousands of microscopic tire particles that we breathe. We're actually breathing more tire dust than tailpipe pollution at this stage. This microscopic dust that we're breathing in is really harmful. Tires are made out of toxic raw materials and fossil fuels that we are effectively inhaling every moment. And by doing so, we don't know what is happening to our ecosystem, to our biosphere, and to ourselves. Tire pollution has been found on the North Pole and in our deepest oceans. It's found everywhere. And ultimately, this is the problem, because we can't even see it as it's happening. So if we want to clean our air, we have to think about tires. By reducing air pollutants, we will be able to breathe our air more healthily. And that is my passion. That drives me to do what I'm doing. My name is Justin Hong. I'm the co-founder and CEO of GRST. Air pollution mainly comes from VOC. It's a volatile organic compound. And today's various uses volatile solvents, 
which is the main source of VOC. Those toxic chemicals can lead to air pollution, lead to increased carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. We need to solve the problem of lithium ion battery uh, with urgency. The demand for lithium ion battery is exponentially increasing. And if you do not manufacture it responsibly, the environment will suffer a lot. Heating our homes, driving our cars, how we run our industrial processes all have dramatic impacts on the health of our air and the health of us. But we do still have time to find ways to clean things up and breathe new life into the quality of our air. I am happy to be a part of something great. It's amazing how much power is given by people who are engaged in the same fight, who is united by the same goal. I believe in people. They can uh, move mountains. I am a co-founder. I'm the co-founder. I'm co-founder and the head of Polish Smoke Alert. Which is the social movement for clean air. A movement of committed people who share the same objective. We were worried about our children's life. We want to breathe clean air. That's our main goal. So we decided to start a campaign, a social movement for clean air. When we started publishing the data on the Facebook site, the reaction was massive. It was like boom. We had an SOS campaign which uh, gathered several hundred people. Artificial lungs made of white fabric. And we put these lungs in small towns, big cities for two weeks. The first day they are white. After two weeks they get dark. And then people who look on the lungs, they say, what's that? This lung campaign, uh, I think it gets viral, and that's because it's, it's really vi visual, so there are millions of people who see it every year. Uh, we had huge support from scientists, from top doctors. Our role as Polish Smoke Alert is to go to politicians and to convince them to act. This is not a complex problem to solve. After a year of campaigning, the team successfully had the law changed to ban the use of coal and wood for heating in Krakow. But it wasn't long before people from other parts of the country were getting in touch to see how they could do the same. They were asking us if we could help them fight for their right to breathe clean air. I think it's a huge drive for change. We decided that this is something that we would like to do. We work together with our regional coordinators. And now it gathers over 50 local smoke alerts, uh, engaging hundreds of people from whole Poland. The grassroots social pressure combined with cooperation with local authorities uh, bring change. I think that people have the power and um, our case can prove it. I'm an optimist. I believe that technology can help mitigate, reduce, and reverse the impact we've had on our climate. But we're not going to be doing it unless we change the status quo. So with a team of tire industry experts, we set up Enzo. Uh, we make tires for electric cars to reduce air pollution. An Enzo tire is black, it's round, it has a hole in the middle. But the secret is what we put in it. Higher grade raw materials, better engineering, tailoring it for electric vehicles, making sure that they're efficient and they last longer, increasing the use of bio-based renewable and recycled feedstocks, and taking care of the tire at the end of life. This is the mission of Enzo. We're based around the idea that tires should fit into a circular economy. This is why Enzo actually means circle in Japanese. All vehicles, including electric ones, run on tyres that wear down and generate air pollution. But the world needs electric vehicles to help combat climate change and eliminate harmful tailpipe pollution. So Enzo are supporting a cleaner electric future. We will not make every tyre on this planet, that's for sure. But if we can do the change, it forces the other tyre manufacturers also to adapt their solutions. The most important thing we can do is simply talk about tires and their impact, because that 
is what's going to move this thing forward. This is how we combat climate change and air pollution at the same time. GLST stands for Green Renewable Sustainable Technology. The four letters embody our core value that drive our mission is to make cleaner, greener, and more recyclable berries. I have been producing water-based paint and coating, and my most ambitious endeavor is to integrate this water-based approach into the making of lithium-ion berries to remove air pollutants. Batteries have the potential to transform our energy security, but producing them isn't without its own problems. By replacing harmful chemicals used in the manufacturing process with water, GRST are breaking new ground in the industry and helping to clean up our air at the same time. Our technology can be used for all kinds of batteries, including electric vehicles, uh, power tools, smartphone, energy storage for renewable energy. Our battery is important in a way that it is the most recyclable battery in the world. We are able to recycle the battery with water at room temperature that would not emit any harmful substance into the air. And being able to replace this with just plain water is what we are very proud of. It solved the problem of air pollution from the making of lithium ion batteries. These solutions have the potential to improve the health of every air-breathing organism on the planet, including us. There's no denying that our actions up to now have been hugely damaging to our atmosphere. But these finalists have shown that there are new solutions out there that can help to clean our air. In Krakow, 10 years ago, 22% of children had asthma symptoms, and this fell to 9% as the air quality was improving. But we know we can't make every tire on this planet. We know that the industry needs to move along with us, and we are simply leading the way to show that it's possible. My hope for the future is that our water-based technology becomes the global standard for clean, green manufacturing and recycling of lithium ion batteries to clean the air. I'm an optimist. I'm optimistic. I give Earth my best shot for my children because I want them to live in a clean and safe planet. We should all give Earth our very best shot. Because air quality is worsening and we have a solution to fix it. It's the only place we live and there is technology and solutions out there to make this place livable, wonderful and beautiful. Yeah.